Hello guys, this is Namjo here with Namjo Gaming. Um, I want to go over something real quick uh, with the library. The library is a zone where uh, end game arc age where you can basically farm up quite a bit di bit of different things, um, and it's a lot easier than most people think. Um, I just got to 50 about five days ago or so, and I decided well wanted to see what uh, the library was all about and see if I could do it and uh, you know I was a little worried at first because my character is only level 50 and the gear I have on is pretty garbage um, so I wanted to figure out how I could work around having this gear and be able to still do this and uh, it's could be a lot more efficient but I mean you know it's another place for me to come and grind um, you know, if I want to change the scenery or just want decent stuff that I can sell on the auction house. Um, so yeah, I was going to take you through this right now. Uh, I am a level 50 blighter, which is battle rage. Let me bring, bring the page up for you. It is battle rage defense shadow play. Uh, the big thing here is being able to reset your passives with deflect and retaliate uh, we, whenever you parry you reset all your passives in your battle rage tree or not your passives but all your actives um, which lets you spam them one nice spell to spam is Sunder earth it gives you dr for for the time being my my full combo with this tree is to use charge and then when after I charge, I usually trip them. Once they're tripped on the ground, I try to get behind them and use uh, rapid strikes as much as possible. And I'll just keep on using rapid strikes until I get about 15 stacks. And then I'll stun them with overwhelm. I will then get behind them with um, shadow smite, which if they're stunned, they get tripped. They also take 600% extra melee damage uh, and it's actually it's counted as two separate attacks and then um, after that I'll usually take and also use a precision strike because um, this this trip is a really long trip and it's usually enough time to get this in and sometimes even more stuff in so uh, we'll we'll see that while I'm doing it um, there's also two notable buffs I'm using one of them is this tag it's a library index card. It's actually a very, very cheap and effective way of um, doing this place. It, uh, for one of one of these tokens, I think it costs like maybe a gold or two, if even. Like not even. And you know, the stuff that you can get in here, and just the coin purses by itself, is going to be make this more than worth it. Um, I'm not so sure as far as the price of these runes, but using these two runes and then. A uh, a dice together giving you the converted uh, health and mana to help with mana and health while you're doing this um, it's what I use for this uh, I you know I don't know if I'm gonna still be able to use this after I run out of them I'm just using them right now uh, but yeah what I usually do is I just start by pulling one of them away from everyone else so I don't have to aggro everything else then I just do my normal combination but how I normally do it Get my stacks up to, you know. So there's 20. Do my full combo. And just keep on repeating that until we're dead. And, you know, my, this would be a lot better, too, if I had, uh, you know, better equipment and stuff. Um, I'm still using most of my gear I've gained from this questing. After most of my stuns have uh, gone through, it's time to go and use ways of just mitigating damage. I have a self heal too, which just is based on how much damage I've taken, and it stacks up this buff over here called Metal. The only thing that kind of sucks about these monsters is they become immune to stun, they become immune to snare, they become immune to trip. So, you know, eventually it gets a little awkward, but I mean, it's alright. Usually it's fine. Get another one of those. And that 
that's it. And then you loot it, and you know, a lot of times it's just going to be a coin purse. They do give a lot of XP, so if you can figure out a way around, you know, not using one of these trees, which is definitely possible. You could probably get away without using Shadow Play and use something else. I like using Shadow Play personally, but you know, whatevs. Um, there's a whole slew of different things you can get. I got this from here, which is a alright neck piece. I wouldn't say it's better than the neck piece I have on, but it's definitely not bad. Um, well, let me see how much HP. How much of an HP difference would this be? 13, 6, 15. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay. It's just not not like the best. But, you know. Um and then there's other things you get. These are all mats used for different weapons and such. And uh yeah. And then I I just keep mixing and repeating with that until these buffs are I run out of these buffs and then I'll just put on another combo of them. And you know, eventually you you definitely like just with the purses alone, you definitely make your money back from what you use to make those library cards. But um, you know, it's really up to you how you want to do it. The library card, I mean, gives you a lot of defense, a lot of physical defense, magical defense, and skill damage. So I don't know. I feel like you're kicking yourself in the foot if you're not using it. But another thing to note is. There's one other thing I was gonna say. Yeah, just rotating your through your your defensive abilities while you're doing this. And like I said, it's really not that hard. And uh, my my gear is like pretty standard. I mean, I have the sword, which is not good at all. I'm just by DPS sword. I can get a sword with like twice as much uh, DPS. And then that means I'd probably be able to clear this two times as fast. Uh, you know, and most of my other gear is just as bad. Like, it's a bunch of just random leveling gear. So, yeah. That's where we're at with that. And, you know, and as you see, it takes a little while, but you have to realize these, these guys have a lot of health. But I can only imagine what would happen if I could actually use higher grade equipment. Um, the only reason why I brought this video up is because I think some people underestimate um, actually how the, the, like how tolerable this place is. Like I I had an idea that this place was not going to be that tolerable. It's really not that bad. Uh, cycling through CC and stuff. I mean I got low on this guy. Normally I don't get low, but I I was kind of distracted showing you guys my gear. But anyways, if you do need any more help with the game, never hesitate to stop by the stream, uh, twitch.tv slash namtro. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a good day, good evening, good morning, whichever it may be. Stay classy. Take it easy, guys.